my cousin getting getting off esports and being a big esports player recently, I've been thinking and talking about esports more than I normally would. Uh, we're only talking about it in small dot points in other larger discussions generally, so I'd usually think that esports itself is quite a good thing because you know it has the has the thing that it, you know it like builds the community and so forth. So I'm, I'm generally right with it, but recently I've been starting to think as I've been thinking more about it that it might actually not be so much of a good thing. It's more of my personal opinion of course, but but there's a lot there that I can actually share it in a full video. So that's what this is gonna be about. Let's address the elephant in the room first of all. The fact that it's called eSports is probably one of the first things because it's not actually a sport as you would all know. It's something that I'd refer to as a sport. It's something that you're actually doing physically. Yeah, some sort of cool uh, exercise is occurring within it. And you know, th there's more than just that though on the base theory because I'd usually see that and think, well, you know, there's a community getting together and having fun so what's the problem in that and there's multiple different problems which only really arose more from the recent shooting which I didn't want to really address or bring up in this video because while I have thought about it quite a bit on that topic and had plenty to say is simply not something that's fitting for my channel in a video I don't think at the, at the moment anyway that's that's just a conclusion I'm coming up to with uh, I don't have any issues with someone else making an entire video all about that recent shooting uh, um, one of the sports conventions during one of the FIFA tournaments, whatever. Anyway, um, getting back to the topic, the fact that um, these people are now considered athletes and so forth because they're esporters, it, it just doesn't seem right with me. And that lie therein is, as I said, the community. And while it's good that people can make friends and get along together, they don't always do that, as you may have seen in the fighting game community. For instance, hell, I could just link um, Kirby Cat's video on that and how bad that is, really. Hell, I could do a whole discussion on the gaming community, honestly. Plenty of people have before, even if it's only for certain games and so forth, relating to certain things like the um, chat, what sort of bands people have set up. Probably hell, a whole fucking shit. But what I'm going to be talking about here is um, how the influence of these esporters and how they are referred to in plat in. Um, impact the entire gaming community because as you know with other sports generally you, you start off at a young age you get physical education with a, um, a teacher or a coach or whatever whether it's it's something that you're meant to be doing to get A's or passes seasons get by and passes a uh, year or if it's actually you deciding that you want to play baseball so you want to get into a um, team with that it, you know, there's generally a coach or someone to teach you more invaluable things than just like how to be good at said sport. They teach you about um, good sportsmanship and so forth. They know they teach you that while yes, you want to strive for perfection, you always want to strive to be better than yourself. You always want to be the very best version of yourself. You can be the very best there was that like no one ever was, and all that. They, it's more about um. um that you're facing yourself, not the actual opponent, that you're always trying to be the best version of yourself, not the best person out there and try and beat everyone. It's, it's about being able to take your losses because there will always be someone out there that's better than you. You won't always stay on top. No one does, not Nintendo, not Muhammad Ali, no one. They always eventually fall and lose as someone's gonna always up. There always has been and always will be. It's just how it is. And so we need to know how to handle that, what to do when we lose. Just as people know, we need to know how to handle criticisms because plenty of people go around without knowing how to handle criticism. And the first time they do it, they flip out. And well, as YouTube, as far as YouTube goes, people know that it destroys their channels. And as far as movies go, people know that it can pretty much destroy your um, film career. And, game industry you can just destroy dev teams as you know um and so forth pretty much the same thing can occur especially when they decide to become violent like fighting game people sports players do and as you know plenty of impressionable young kids i'm not going to get too much into that because that sounds way too preachy for my liking but it it is a thing regardless so it's almost unavoidable for me to bring up as a point at least a point in the overall discussion. The thing which, as you may have remembered, is um, 
esports e now, like some games are just rushed out to be esports, to be esport ready. And that's become a fucking meme now, but it's been is quite a dominant thing that people just rush out games and they think more about the esports side of it and shit before they think about anything else. For instance, with um, Street Fighter Five, everyone knew that was notoriously pumped out, half finished, just so they could meet a deadline for um, the esports, so they could have it at Evo or whatever it is for the fighting game competitions, which I think is stupid because if a game's not at least five years old, then I don't even care to see it at esports because I don't know what it is. I mean, for me, e for, for for some sort of sports, for something to entertain me, while I would probably watch esports if they were decent time, not fucking one o'clock in the morning like my cousin's was, which was a bit annoying because I didn't like staying up that late. I mean, that's just for the start of it and it ran like fucking how long? I, I honestly didn't, because <laughs> I didn't really look at the times. I, I did watch one of them. But, um, yeah, it, <laughs> um, made at least five years old or something, like, we don't actually know enough about it, like, if, if it's this first year fucking coming out, and they're just like, oh, we want to have an eSport, like, you're already planning it before the game's fucking release, and you're like, yeah, we'll have it at this sport, like, EVO, um, with, what was it? Well, Fight Z, I think it came out the same year that they put it in at its first tournament. It's like, that's fucking insane. It's, it's only been out for a couple of months and you're putting it in fucking Evo. Like, n not everyone's going to be all that knowledgeable about the fucking fighters and so forth. Like, w when it's been years and you, you're a pro at it, then it's significant. When it's only been a couple, like, when it's been, like, less than a year, it's like, fucking big whoop. No no one's gotten a grip on the game yet. It's just because you were able to get a grip quicker, so it, it doesn't really seem all that significant about it. But when people have so much of a knowledge of it that they can exploit glitches and so forth, then it's like, yeah, you know some tricks. Everyone's aware of it. So when you watch it, you're like, I understand exactly what's going on. I can get it right in their mind and think, they should have done this instead. Oh, there's this strategy and so forth. Like, you have a lot of knowledge behind it like 10 years into Halo, then it's like, you know, you know all the guns, you know all the maps, you know all the um, uh, vehicles, you know, you know all the different characters and all the game modes, so you, you get quite adjusted to it. So when you see a tournament for like Halo 3 or something, it's like, yeah, that, that game's been around fucking 10 years, I, I know everything about it, so watching pros go at it is more interesting, but you know, when, when you're watching just a couple, um, something that's brand new, it's like, well, I don't even know half the shit they're doing, like, what's going on, what is this thing, this came out, like, only a fucking week ago, you might even be like, I've never seen this before, did this just release today, <laughs> and that would just be disorienting, you don't want to be taking fucking half an hour to figure out what the ha what's happening as it's happening, you want to know during it, and just be surprised that they were able to pull it off. You know, you want to be awed at what they're capable of when you're well adjusted to everything, because that, that's mentally stimulating. That's generally what I found interesting about um, esports in the first place, but that's clearly changed as there's rush more and more to get out new games, which leads into my next point of problem, sponsorship. I've talked about this in a point that I brought up for esports in separate other videos, um, as you may know if you keep up to date. And one of my biggest problems with such is assigned guns and loot boxes and so forth. But um, the one that I'm fine with is stuff like Red Bull and so forth. It's like, these things don't fund themselves. Someone's got to fund them and that's how they get it. It's the same for normal sports, honestly. So that's not all too odd to see advertising, even though I, I, I obviously don't like seeing ads and so forth, you know. It's kind of unavoidable. So I understand it and I'm a bastard. However, when it's like, sign fucking gun virtual gun that you can pay for like 700 fucking dollars when the game's not even fucking a quarter that price like it's fucking 15 dollars for CSGO right it, it just seems fucking absurd to me and the fact that they're not just selling it they're selling it in loot boxes is, is like just fuck right off seriously just fuck that like that to me is, is just the dead point of like no, this needs to change, and as you all know, I've made enough boxes videos on that. Now I, I'm not going to get too hard into that, but you know, I, I've obviously got quite a problem with that. 
And that's one of the first problems that I had with it. Um, but I wasn't willing to blame uh, esports outright, but after all those things, especially with them being considered athletes, it's like, no, not really. It's, and I even heard that this is going to um, be in the Olympics soon, esports, and I think that's absurd. Like, I've only heard it in passing, I don't think it's true, honestly, but like, that just seems absurd to me. It blows my mind how anyone could think of that and be okay with that, honestly. Like, sure, esports is getting big and, you know, not many people watching TV nowadays. Um, I don't think Olympics is growing smaller, but let's just say for a chance it is. I'm certainly not as interested or hearing much about it. So if it is, then, you know, it could be a way to pump it up, of course. But, like, it just seems weird to me. Like, bleh. I mean, they've got other sports out there, sure, that aren't um, as physically stimulating, say, like, uh, or not stimulating, um, physically, uh, doesn't require you to do a lot physically, you know, like driving or shooting or BMX or something like that, because you're generally sitting down or standing still for those, so that makes sense relatively, but you've got to be talking like the old arcade games or something like this, there's got to be something in <laughs> that just seems absurd to me, it's just, it just seems so dumb, like all that's happening, like esports is going so big, like it's not even 50 years old, so the fact that it would even be considered for, um, what is it, uh, Olympics, like, no, this, that is definitely, like, the biggest thing that's just, like, esports, I won't say it's outright bad, but I don't like it, I, I just think that it's going in the wrong direction currently, that is, is holding itself to a too high degree and it's thinking too much of itself. Kind of like Icarus flying towards the sun. You just lose your wings, fall back to Earth. I saved them bundle. The fool. Cut out with his world. Don't worry about that. <laughs>